Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. Today we are continuing our 100 baby challenge. Should be an interesting episode because Cassia had her traits changed in the last episode. We were able to save up 5,000 aspiration points in one episode <laughs> and we changed her traits. I'm so happy because honestly, it was close to impossible getting guys to like her with all that she had going on. So I'm very relieved that uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier now. Also, I asked you guys if you thought that it was cheating if we uh, use the risky hookup option. It was kind of half and half. Some of you guys were like, yes, and then some of you guys were like, nah. So I think what we're gonna do is, I'm not going to make her do the risky hookup interaction, but if her and the guy that she's trying to court automatically go and try for baby i'm not gonna stop her <laughs> so yeah now that that's out of the way i'm so excited to get into this episode i'm so excited to be filming i love you guys so much thank you so much for 16,000 subscribers i'm just so happy and i can't thank you guys enough so yeah let's get into this episode all right here we are back in the house they were both standing together just now and I was hoping that I could show you guys, but this is honestly even cooler. <laughs> All right, so here we are back in the house. It looks like Lily is here to celebrate. Cassia is enjoying some mac and cheese. And oh my gosh, look at all these people that she has a bad relationship with. Oh, oh, honestly, it just hurts my heart a little bit. Cause I like, oh my God, can you please stop? I thought you changed. Anyway, um, if you guys missed it, we were able to change Cassia's traits before she was a hot headed, evil, outgoing Sim. And now she's an outgoing snob who's also a foodie. Those traits I'm not really a huge fan of because they don't really help us in this challenge except for the outgoing trait. But other than that, it's fine. We changed her aspiration to Chief of Mischief so that we could get her aspiration points. I think we're gonna keep on working on her aspiration because I want to get... What is that reward? This one. Beguiling. They can put anyone in a flirty mood with just one look, which would really help in this challenge. So yeah, that is our next goal. She is currently pregnant with... Who's the dad? I already forgot. I'm pretty sure it's Deacon. Yeah, it is. It's Deacon. So she's pregnant with Deacon's baby and she is in question mark, question mark, question mark. So she should be um, giving birth really soon. The only kids that are left in the house are Grayson and Ace. They are both vampires. They are both high school B students, but they should be uh, getting an A quite soon. Speaking of that, I'm gonna get them both to... Aww, he's bullied. You poor baby. So we need to figure out a way for Cassia to make money. And uh, I'm gonna sell this homework because she's not a teenager anymore. Um, should we do gardening? Is that boring? Because we have all of these seeds. Because we did painting with Lily and I thought it would be cool if each matriarch kind of had their own way of supplying the family with money. And painting is definitely the best way to make money. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. Her skills, oh wow, look at that logic skill. And that mischief skill. Can you get money from any of these things? I don't think so. What about logic? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Because I'm pretty sure there's something that she can do with logic. Um, so yeah. That would be kind of cool. I get the vibe that she's really smart if her logic skill is that high. So since she's turning over a new leaf, I was thinking, because she has a good relationship with Ace, I'm thinking that maybe she should try and uh, fix this relationship with Grayson, because he's right here. So maybe there's something that we can do. Is there like a ask if Grayson had woohoo? What the ask if Grayson wants kids? Let's ask him that. That's interesting. I've honestly never seen that before. Maybe we could give him um 
a friendly gift too. Maybe a, let's give him a firework. I think he would like that. Let's see if he takes it. What is she angry from? Being your family. Why are you still like this? I changed your traits. What the heck? You don't want to give him a gift? Can you just please? Oh my god. Apology. What did you do? I just told you to ask it. Mm. Oh my god. I'm literally telling her to do friendly things and it's just not working. Watch. Oh. Oh! Now it's offensive? Why is it offensive? You just asked how his day was! Oh god, what are you gonna do? Okay, show dark form. Okay, whatever. Cassia, stop! Okay, give him the firework and see what he does. Did he like it? Oh wow! Look at how much that in that like brought down the the the, the red bar. Stop! 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 No! Come on, fix this relationship. Beg forgiveness. She's like, Grayson, I'm so sorry. I don't know what was coming over me. I just... Oh, no, really? Okay, I tried, and he is just not having it with us, so... <sighs> you know, we can do it later. I heard you became enemies with Cassia Potter. That girl is a jerk. Oh, my. Okay, what is your relationship with Daisy? Yeah really nothing so it's gonna be a lot harder than i thought to um to uh rekindle these relationships you really know how to dress thanks ernesto uh he's popular and his twin is bullied Ugh. i can't even imagine what that's like okay they're back Ace is a B student still, and so is Grayson, so I think one more day at school should do it. But they're both exhausted, so go ahead, head off to sleep, sleep it off, and then do your homework. Cassia, can you just have this baby already? Dexter's calling. We're sleeping. Sorry, brother. <gasps> yes! Gone into labor. My girl has gone into labor. Go ahead, have that baby at the hospital. Sending you alone, because ain't nobody got time for that. Let's see what it is. It's a boy. It's a boy. All right, let me look at my list of names here. I haven't looked at this list in so long, just because we haven't had any new babies. This is Cassia's first baby. How exciting. Okay, let's go with Mason. I actually have a cousin named Mason. I've always liked that name. Mason has been born and it, she did not have twins. That is not a good sign. Um, I wonder, oh my, wait. This is the spellcaster bassinet. Did we have a baby with a spellcaster that I just didn't know about? Um, shoot. I mean, not shoot. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? <laughs> All right, now that she had the baby, it's time to invite someone else over so that she can get pregnant again. No wasting time. Uh, Everett, sure, let's invite him over. I hope, I hope he's not this baby's uh, freaking dad. Uh, okay, let's see the family tree. Um. So my love, the dad is Deacon. Okay, I was right. <laughs> Deacon's married. Oh, uh, look at this outfit Max got on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Thorn. Oh, oh, it's Thorn Bailey's son. Oh my gosh, we have a famous baby. <laughs> That's what's up. 
All right, go ahead. Invite that guy over. Hey, you guys, um, shoot your thirst. Do you have any plasma packs? Can you order any? It was Jonas who knew about the vampire thing, so. Yikes. Uh, we need to get on that. Um, invite in. What is wrong? Ooh, ooh, there's someone that they can compel for a drink. Who is this? Whatever. Uh, can you drink from teens? Ah, you can. Compel for a deep drink. There you go. And then you... You can drink from this guy. Ain't nobody got time for researching vampires. I'm sorry. Hey, you can't leave. Don't leave! What the heck? What? Why didn't that work? No! No! There you go. Yeah, you turn your butt right back around. We need your plasma, my boy. Hey! Where are you going? Stop right there in the name of the law. You enjoy that, Ace. You enjoy that. Um, ooh, this is Brooke. Should we? I mean, we're kind of desperate, so. Sorry, love. It is what it is. Don't, don't jog away. Oh! Oh my god! Um, they just woohooed, and I definitely didn't tell them to do that. Uh, well, at least they have some romance now, which is nice. Um, I guess let's get that up further so that they can try for a baby, because I'm not seeing the option yet. No, no ghost night. Sorry. Ooh, first kiss. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get the first kiss. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, you did it. You freaking did it. You guys already woohooed, but um, ooh, ask if Everest wants kids. Maybe we should ask him that before um, we do anything rash. Why is it a very- Ooh, try for baby! Yes! Yes, queen. Okay, are you guys- What the heck happened to you? You were supposed to drink from Lacey. What happened? Hang on. Maybe you should drink- No, because he's already been drunken from recently. Ah, here we go. Angry, angry, angry male man. Or male lady. I don't care. Whatever. Either way. You be getting some plasma. Because you need it. There you go. There you go. All better now. You need to be doing your homework. You need to be taking a pregnancy test. And you also need to be doing your homework. Good for you, my boy. Getting that vampire skill up. Getting that thirst on. Proud of you. Are you pregnant? Ooh! Very nice. And wait, what are our lot traits? Oh, they don't have any. Let's pick some. Let's do... Obviously, on ley line or whatever. Let's do... Romantic aura. And then let's do... Where's that good schools one? Great schools. There we go. Perfect! We are ready to rock. Congratulations! So happy you're pregnant! Speaking of that, we should probably give you a makeover because you're going to be pregnant a lot now. We should probably get you some pregnancy outfits because I know you're wearing a lot of crop tops. You are a tiny lady. She's so cute. I love her. Okay, let's have a look at your outfits again. Crop top, crop top, mm, not such a crop top, but still a crop top. Okay, I know for a fact that, let's see here. Which jeans are they? Cute. Even more cute!
Oh, I'm pretty sure it's these pants. They don't look too bad when they're when you're pregnant, so we'll do those. Then we need to find you a shirt that's not cropped, which is gonna be. I mean, mm, that doesn't look bad. It actually looks um, nice while she's pregnant. So we'll do that for one outfit. I love these shoes. They're real cute. Okay, so we'll do those. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this hair on her. How cute is that? Oh, she's so adorable. And then this outfit. Ugh, I absolutely love this jacket shirt combo, but it's just not gonna work while she's pregnant. That really makes me sad. Um, let's look in full body, see if there's anything new in there. I do download a lot of stuff pretty much every day that I just forget about. <laughs> so let's see if there's anything. I mean, this doesn't look horrible while she's pregnant. So maybe we can do this one. Uh, her color is definitely purple. I'm pretty sure we decided that. I don't see any purple options. This one's cute, but stripes, I feel like stripes make you look bigger and I doubt she wants that. Let's just do that one. And then this third outfit, <laughs> the tucked in sweater just looks silly. Um, let's just find her a uh, new top. All right, all good, all good, no more crop tops. So I'm thinking you can go now. So let's go ahead and ask him to leave. Um, okay, I guess you can sleep first. Oh wait, no, you're the one who's supposed to ask him to leave. See ya. Yay, Ace completed his homework. I'm gonna need you to do your extra credit too. Let's buy you some vampire points as well. I'm sure something in here will help. Uh, let's do... A cult student, sure, three times. No? Okay, that works. And then Grayson. Hmm, let's do bat form for you and then you can do one of the occult energy th things. Awesome, awesome. Can you do your extra credit please? I need you guys to get A's next time so you can get out of the house. You being around Cassia probably isn't the best thing. So. <laughs> We need to get you out. The bean is awake, but he's not crying. Mason, this is Mason, okay. There you go. There's the crying. Get out of the way! Move! I hate that. Oh, well you got him to stop crying. Thank you. She's feeling very flirty, so why don't we invite another guy over and get their relationship up? Um, who though? Liam, you're married. That might be tricky. Brendan? Oh, you're married too. Hmm, you're a teen. Why is everyone married? Slim Pickens around here. Guess it doesn't really matter, does it? We hit it off with Brendan. Let's send him a flirty text. Don't yell at Ace, he likes you. You're gonna ruin that relationship too? Let's invite him to hang out. Oh, it's four in the morning. Oops, no wonder he didn't, res or he didn't respond to our flirty text. <laughs> my bad, my bad indeed. Oh no, gotta replace that. I guess we could work on her mischief some more. She needs to be level. Oh, you know what we can do? We can bind the voodoo doll to Grayson and just do a bunch of voodoo on him. All right, they're off to school. Study hard, both of you. Oh my gosh. That's nasty. Cassia was cuddling the voodoo doll that was bound to Grayson and now he feels flirty. Oh God, why are you feeling lust? From Slice of Life, okay. I just hacked into your phone and saved my number. Make sure that you use it. Who knows what I might do next? 
That's frightening. <laughs> yes, who's calling? Grayson tried to skip out on class to comfort a crying friend. Helping friends comes first, definitely. Is he responsible now? Oh shoot, he's not. Uh oh. So much for aging, aging him up today. Congratulations on the new addition. Thanks, Parker. You're the only one in the family who texted me. I guess there's no surprise there, but still. Should Grayson invite over classmate Ernesto? Sure, is he the one that, yes! What, Ace, why are you still a B student? I don't understand. Oh, you don't have a skill to level three. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Looks like you're thirsty, so why don't you come and drink Homeboy's Plasma over here? You, you're also thirsty. There's plenty of people around. Compel for a deep drink, go ahead. Don't feel bad about it. Hey, what happened? Do what I tell you. There you go. Ace you as well. Hi. Look deeply into my eyes. All right, homeboy. So you are an A student and are you responsible? You are. Okay, so we can age you up with this nasty cake. So why don't you come over here, add birthday candles. It's almost Mason's birthday. And make yourself a nice okay. wish. Happy birthday. Hmm. Happy, happy birthday to you, to you. Ah. Happy, happy birthday to you. There you go, kid. You did good. All right, your last trait is... Handy! These sins are naturally good at repairing things. Nice. He's also neat and a top-notch toddler. You go, Grayson. Time to decide your life. Um, gonna have to write down your fundamentals. Alright, decide. 286. Not good at all. Alright, what did you choose for your career? What did you choose? Oh no, he's weak. Oh no! Babysitter! Oh honey. I expected so much more from you. Especially from someone who wants to be fabulously wealthy, but hey. I'm not judging. Alright, Ace. You're tense from school? Why don't you come over here and play an arcade game and then once your tenseness is down, you need to do your homework. Oh, and you need to get a skill to level three. That's right. Okay, just do your homework and then, of course, dream big. That's like a foolproof way to get skills up. Unless... Yeah, your skills are crap. So, there you go. Fitness level three. Done and done. So you should be getting an A tomorrow. Yo, your baby is crying, my love. Oh, but Grayson's to the rescue. Oh my god, you guys, look. They're getting along. Oh, they were getting along. They were having a pleasant conversation. Well, that didn't last long. Yay! Ace is finally an A student. Oh my gosh, that took long enough. Alright, my boy. Come add candles. Time to make a wish and move you out with your brother. Oh, he's so happy! They get along so well. I love them. Super siblings. Oh my gosh, what happened to your other traits? I can't remember what his other trait was. Oh well, we'll randomize the other two. Bookworm and ice proof. Ice proof sims aren't negatively affected by cold temperatures. Okay, cool. Doesn't really matter what that other trait was since they're gonna be moving out anyway. Um, so many people sent him gifts. All right, let's decide your life. Seven eighty nine. Okay. Is 
789 and your career choice oh my gosh drinker oh my okay and his career choice is an astronaut that's the second one of our kids that chose the astronaut route the first one was hazel she probably influenced him a little bit um okay so let's move these two out and then we can age up mason and give him a makeover all right where are we again? No, 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 we're Newcrest. Newcrest. I was thinking since um, these two boys enjoy uh, drinking from other people, compelling for deep drinks, maybe we should move them into Forgotten Hollow. So 286 and then 789. You cannot afford this lot. Well, with cheats I can. There you go, boys. Two bedroom, two bathroom, nicely furnished for your liking. I hope you enjoy. All right. Now it's just me and you, little buddy. Today is your birthday, so let's age you up. Pretty sure this is gonna be a spellcaster. I didn't realize that our homie Deacon was a spellcaster. Or did we just get a fancy bassinet? I don't know. I don't know. Clingy. Great. Lovely. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dunan. Dunan. <laughs> Welcome to the family, De er, no, Mason. Bleh. Deacon, that's the dad. Cute. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Do we have a potty? Yeah, we do. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look at you and create a sim then. Oh my god, you are a spellcaster. How cute. How oh, very exciting. All right, I'm gonna give you purple eyes just like your mama. All right, we're gonna use this hair because why not? I actually really, really like this hair that came with university. So yeah, let's find you a new outfit now. He's actually super adorable. I realize a lot of my toddlers look the same, but then I realize that they're also all family. So I don't know. <laughs> Except for the like the weird looking ones like um, Jackson and uh, what was the other one? Parker's pretty weird looking too. All right, I like dressing my toddlers in really really simple things. So there's that. Let's see if a hat looks good. Aww, look at the way the little hair sticks out. How cute. Aww, I like this one. That's super adorable. Okay, all right, we're doing that. I am obsessed with him, he's so freaking cute. I love the way the hair pokes out of the hat. <laughs> My heart, so cute. All right, first things first, potty train Mason. Potty train Mason until he is freaking potty trained. Am I right? If I learned anything from you guys is that I should potty train my toddlers first so I never have to bathe them. Empty house feels weird. Hmm. Fatima, our best friend. Probably not. I'm good. We just had a baby and we're pregnant still. We should invite her over though. Ooh, we should invite him over too. Um, because I want to practice our mischief still. Let's invite him. What? You can't come? You literally just invited us somewhere. Okay, well, let's invite that girl over then. Hello! Come on in! Oh, look who's- who else is here? Hi! New baby daddy. Mwahaha. Alright, let's ask him about his day. Let's throw love day confetti. He's like, huh. I don't know about you, but you've changed. 
A wardrobe whiz? So he's in the stylist career? That's what's up. It's me, Everett. Do you want to go out on a date? I don't think so, my dude. You, you really don't understand our relationship at all, do you? He's still staring at us the same way that he did before, so I guess that's a good thing. Alright, let's go in with the compliment appearance. Ooh, it worked. Uh oh! Uh oh! He didn't like it. He didn't like it. Okay. Ooh! You know what? I just realized something. The only reason why she still has, um, like, negative things in the relationship and it's hard for her to, like, uh, do good things is because of her bad reputation. Uh, that's not good. Thanks, Fatima, for watching the baby. I appreciate that. <laughs> What's wrong? You're tired? Let's go to sleep, then. Let's give him a firework as a love day gift and see if he takes it. Hi, Lily. Are you proud of us? We're following in our footsteps. Come on, give him the firework. Please like it. Oh, that sounded good. Oh, God, he hated it. Oh, no. This guy is a tough one to crack. Not gonna lie. I don't think he likes us like that. How do we get him to like us? If you're married, then why are you spending love day with us? Hmm? Hmm? Just take our romantic advances. Just take them. Oh god. Okay, well, I think he's had enough. I think we've had enough. Time for sleep. Thank you for cleaning, Lily. I appreciate that so much. Look at this bean. So cute. You better get some sleep before Mason wakes up. Ooh, we're in question mark, question mark. Oh my gosh. We are almost gonna have another baby. Thanks, Lily, for making this fruit and yogurt parfait. I wish I could put it away, but it's not letting me drag. Whatever, it's fine. What is it? Neighborhood brawl? Oh lord. Look who came! The daddy -o. Hi, daddy -o. Hey, look who's here just standing outside of our house again. Huh. Interesting. Whoa, she is so pregnant. Wait. Why is it friendly introduction? Hold up. Oh my god. He must have a twin. Ooh, is this twin single? Oh my god, I can't believe he has a twin. That is so funny. What are the chances that he would just come and stand outside of our house? This guy just whipped out some fruit. Can I have that? No? Okay. Uh oh, she's sick. Hmm. Let's order some medicine. All right, I worked on their relationship a little bit. I got a little bit of pink and a little bit of green. So I think he might be our next baby daddy. Uh, oh my gosh, he's married too. Why is everyone freaking married, dude? This just makes it so much harder. All right, he's almost maxed out his potty skill, I think. Yeah, or no, not almost. He needs one more, one more full bar and then he'll be good. You're really mopping outside in the rain? Are you- Wow. Just wow. Ooh! She's in labor! Honestly, I kind of forgot that she was pregnant. <laughs> okay. Uh, go. Go, go, go. Have the baby at the hospital. Send to daycare. It's a boy. Another boy? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Okay. Here's a good one. Rylan. Rylan. Yeah, I like that a lot. <gasps> Our first set of twins! Okay, I have to find another R name that's a girl. Um, When there aren't any. Riley? 
Riley and Ryland. Did we already do Riley? I don't think we have. Okay. Riley and Rylan. Nice. Okay. Twins. Okay. Let's move them uh, to where, though? And cue the baby crying song that we're going to hear <laughs> for a very long time now. Uh, why are you up? Thunderstorms? You're fine. Go back to bed. Okay, so now let's go ahead and invite over Steven so we can get pregnant again. <laughs> and he'll be right over. That's what I like to hear. This bean needs a bath, actually. Bath, please. Quickly, 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 quickly. Before Steven comes. Where is he? He's busy right now? Oh, heck no. Okay, I finally got homeboy to come over, so let's- Ooh, he's feeling flirty? That's what's up. Alright, let's hit him with the flirt, like, right away. Oh my god. Freaking babies, dude. They never shut up. Oh, okay. Well, they just went ahead and did that. The baby needs food. So I'm thinking that's probably priority. Okay, I finally got them to try for baby. That took way longer than it should have. My little toddler is over here sleeping still. His energy has been so low just because of the uh, thunderstorm that was happening. He kept waking up. All right, come and take a pregnancy test. Let's see if you're pregnant again. Let's see if you are as fertile as your mother. You are. That's what's up. That's what I like to see. Alright, when do these babies age up? Because, oh my god, they're annoying. Today? Thank the lord. We should just age them up now then. Alright, Rylan is <laughs> clingy. Just like his brother. Great. And Riley, sleeper. These Sims sleep a lot. Okay. Interesting. So who's their dad? Wait, who's their dad? Oh, Everett. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's get rid of these bassinets and then give them their creative sim makeovers. They aged up with really, really curly hair. This kid is actually adorable. I love him so much. I gave him black hair just like his dad. <laughs> this is such a cute outfit. He looks like a little man. All right, here's Rylan. Actually, okay, so he got purple eyes. Interesting, just like his mother. There you go, all better. Okay, and then Miss Riley here, our sleepy baby. You have brown eyes. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's find you a good hair. Let's just randomize until we find one we like. Hmm. Should we just do this one actually? I like this hair. I don't know, these brows might be a little too bold. Those are better. A lot better. This is our first girl. This is Cassia's first girl. <gasps> How cute is this little dress? Aww! Purple, blue, pink. Aww! That's so cute. Okay, let's do purple. All right, guys, so here's Riley and Rylan. Such a cutie. They're definitely not identical, but still cute nonetheless. Okay, so we are three kids down. That's pretty dang good, but this is gonna get hard. I'm gonna get her to drink a... Do we have a moodlet solver? We do. Go ahead and drink one so that you can take care of these beans. Because you are in a really bad mood right now. Let's go ahead and potty train Rylan first. 
Hey, I said drink the drink. Drink the drink. All right, and then you bean. Where is the stuff? There we go. Babel. Oh, she just got struck by lightning. Poor dear. All right, so Rylan can now use the potty chair. So now we're going to potty train Riley if she'll let us, but it looks like she's too tired. And she's moody. Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, why do you have to go outside to pass out? Can't you just go in your bed, please? It looks like Mason's going to get to level 3 in his potty skill very soon. So we're just going to keep on working at that. And then his other skills... Wow, they're progressing pretty well. He just needs to work on his communication, which is usually the first thing that we do. But it's fine. It's all good. No, no bedtime. No. Potty train. There we go. You did what you needed to do. All right, it looks like all of our little dumplings are nestled in their beds. <sighs> Thank you so much, Lily, for coming and preparing food for us. It's such a lifesaver now. If only I could put it there, but I can't drag it for some reason. So annoying. Why is it poor quality if Lily made it? She has max cooking skill. She must have been in a bad mood. Hey, chill! Perdón! Ay. Oh my god, look. He aged up into an elder. Oh man, does that mean his brother's an elder now too? No! <laughs> oh well, at least we were able to get his seed before he uh, aged up. This girl just showed up at our door, so we're gonna practice our mischief on her. Uh-oh, Fatima knows that we're doing mischief on someone else, and now she's jealous and inviting us out. No, Fatima, we found someone new. Martina, Fatima and, Fatima and Martina. Martina Margarita. She's almost level nine. Get there. Get there. Don't leave. Oh, you're gonna go on our computer. Typical. There we go. Level nine. Now she can slap him silly. I really don't understand how that's mischievous at all. It's just rude. I've just been doing some skill building. So little baby here just needs imagination and movement. He's working on it. This bean needs movement, potty, and thinking. And she needs a lot of it. She really likes to sleep. Like her... Her uh, personality trait was no joke. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get her up. I'm gonna get her to have some food because she needs to be working on her skills too. She is falling way behind. Hey, look who's here, Brenton. It has been a while, friend. Do we even know you? We don't, why are you here? Very strange. Ooh, 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 she's in labor. <gasps> Perfect way to end the episode. Okay, have baby a hospital. I hope she has twins or triplets. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's a girl. Girly girl. Um, I'm gonna do Flora. Hopefully she has a twin brother so I can name him Forrest. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. Flora and Forest. <laughs> All right. Cassia and Steven had twins. That's what I'm talking about. Did I just see a vampire thing? Are these vampire babies? Is Steven a vampire? I had no idea. All right. Cool. Back to all the stress. And just crying and dirty and ugh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So what do we need to be working on for you? Thinking. Okay, Bean, play some shape. You, my darling? Why don't you just keep going potty? Okay. Okay, we got Mason level three and everything. So we can age him up. So Cassia, please, my darling. Please make a cake so we can have some help around here. I know a child can't really do much, but it's better than nothing. Oh no, our fridge. Hire repair service. We actually got his skills up pretty dang quick. I'm proud. I'm proud of us. All right. 
Uh, help blow out candles, Mason. Just to be sure, he's level three everything. You guys see it with your own eyeballs. Happy birthday! Our first babe is now our first child. All right, so this bean's aspiration is rambunctious scamp. And his trait, gregarious. Nice. Okay, that's great. Oh, he aged up with the same hair, too. That's what's up. All right, let's have a look at you and create a sim. So excited. I love this outfit. It's so simple, but it's good. Okay, Mason. Red eyes. No. No, no, no. You had... Shoot, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was these. Yeah, it was. And then you had these brows. And you had... I'm pretty sure you had... A mole. Oh, and you had dimples. No, 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 you didn't have dimples. That's your brother. You had this mole. And why do the tips have to be blonde? See, I don't like that. I want it to just be all brown. Oh well, it is what it is. And I actually really like this shirt. Shoot, we're in sleepwear. Look at this shirt. Isn't this so cute? Look at it in pink. Oh, I forgot he's the spellcaster. <gasps> oh, that's so cute, too! Aww. It's adorable. Okay, we have to do that. And I'm not- I don't hate these shorts, either. This outfit is so 80s. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Alright, guys. Here is Mason, all grown. He's gonna be a really, 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 really handsome guy when he grows up. I can already tell. Okay, guys, the next guy that she is going to have a baby with... Uh... Oh my god, should she have kids with Brendan? With both the brothers? I mean, we could try it. She already has a good enough relationship with him, so... Maybe we can make it work? Okay. It did not work with him. He didn't like us at all. He didn't like us doing flirty stuff, so he is a committed man to Lana Martin. I would be too. She's a real cute girl from university. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it then. Not sure who's gonna be our next baby daddy, but we'll figure it out in the next episode. I think we did really good. Five kids and one is already a child. We're doing work. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.